Hey there, this is Pro 50 Flowers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a boutonniere and corsage with orchids. You can use them on their own, but I am going to show you how to design it maybe with some other things. So I've got this awesome Phalaenopsis orchid right here. I've got my spray rose, and I've got this leucodendron that I think I'm going to pull apart and use for greenery. So to make the boutonniere, I am going to tape it. And then for my corsage, I am going to glue it onto this slat band. I've got my glue, my snips, I've got some ribbon, and then I've gone ahead and already just cut off some segments off of my wire. And that's what I'm going to use in my boutonniere to help make my orchids go where I want them to. Alright, so I'm going to start with my corsage. And I learned this um, from my really good friend Terry that when you're using a slat band like this, you know, it's got the curve and everything, it's gonna stay really secure on your wrist. Go ahead and design it on something that is going to mimic the shape of a wrist. Because when you go and say you design it flat, and then you go you slap it on, it's gonna curve. When I'm gluing things, they are gonna get used to the flat surface, and when I curve it, it's not gonna be used to that. So, putting it on a curved surface is gonna make it easier. Trick. Get it to stay stable. Awesome. Okay, so as always, when we are taping our corsages, let's go ahead and add our greenery. And I'm just going to pull off these little pieces off of this leucodendron and I'm going to glue it right onto the plastic here. But with an orchid, you really want this bloom, and because they're shaped that in that different way, I am gluing straight to the surface here. So now I'm going to show you how to make the boutonniere. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to wire my orchid, and the way I do that is I take my little piece here. And I know some people they'll kind of they'll bend this into the U shape and they'll go through the center of the orchid right here. That's one way to do it. And just delicately poking through to the other side. And that is great because it gives you stem to work with when these don't come with a lot of stem. The part I don't like about it is that it leaves a little bit of wire visible in the center of the orchid. So if you really want those close-up pictures, you might have to get them doctored up. But that's okay. We all gotta do what's within our skill set. So that's one way to make a loop here for an orchid. The other way that I've seen it done is kind of the same. But you come through here and you just ever so slightly poke it into the back of that orchid and you bring that stem and then you go ahead and you tape it up as close as possible so that this wire stays up as far as you'd like it and then you just go ahead and tape down to keep it secure I'll give it a little bit down and there we go and that also now I can really manipulate, even with just poking it in a little bit, I'm able to get a lot of life out of that form of taping. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do feeling something funky here. I'm going to strip off all these leucodendron leaves and I'm looking to get to just this stalk right here. And I really, like this leucodendron is so bloomed out. It's it's beautiful. I love that. And so I'm kind of feeling like maybe I want to merge the two. And I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to strip 
through all of this way to get to just that, to get to that little pine cone, beautiful little thing. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tape a couple of these leaves up the top here because I'm gonna repurpose these leaves to be my tall lateral green that I would normally have in a boutonniere because I like that shape. Awesome. Okay, and now I'm going to marry the two. I'm going to tape my orchid on there and I'm going to try and just create something kind of funky but still on that traditional high to low design that we follow in floral design. The great thing about that wire is I can really manipulate where I want that flower to go. Now, I think maybe just for a trifecta, because again, I do like to design in odd numbers. I'm gonna add this little rose in here. I'm just gonna open it and just make it look like maybe I just trimmed it off some bush. Okay. All right. And there we go. That is what we're working with. And that is gonna be our final, final design on this veneer. uncovered there and I'm just gonna snip right across because I love, love the look of bare stems and I'm gonna take this excess wire that I have and I'm just gonna tape that up because I don't want that to be visible. I want people to think that like somehow I grew this naturally in my garden. And then I brought this peacock feather in because I thought maybe it fit the vibe here. Add a little bit of funkiness. Add that, and there you go. Go ahead and add whatever ribbon you like, but get funky with it. Orchids are an amazing focal flower, so you wanna just do elements that are going to complement the orchid, either in a very, because they are a tropical flower, I like to do something that complements the region that they come from, and that region has a lot of color and a lot of texture, or I would do it just by itself in using that wire technique, and then just go ahead and pin it on the shirt. And that is how you make a boutonniere and a corsage out of just filling out this orchids.